learners today let us study light and how it interacts with different materials will you able to see the things around you when it's dark when it's dark you cannot see the things around you then what do you need to be able to see the things with your eyes that's right you need light light is a form of energy that makes us see things around us the light that is visible to the human eye is called visible light. Sun is the main source of light to our planet. We are able to see things around us with our own eyes because of the light coming from the sun. Light from the sun travels for about 8 minutes and 17 seconds before it reaches the earth. The sun emits a very strong light or radiation called electromagnetic radiation or simply EMR. It is called electromagnetic radiation because it contains both electric property and magnetic property. The sun is the primary source of light. Without it, our planet will be just like a big ball of ice. But there are other sources of light like lightning, lamp, candle, and flashlight. These objects are called luminous objects. Luminous objects can generate their own light. Objects like table, book, roof, and wall, and most of the things around us are called non-luminous objects. Non-luminous objects cannot generate their own light. But how are we able to see non-luminous object, especially when it's dark? It is because of the reflection of light. You see... Non-luminous object reflects the light coming from the luminous object like the sun. The reflected light from the non-luminous object travels our eyes and that's why we are able to see the object. Sunlight or what we know as white light actually includes all the colors of the visible light. We can see this band of colors when white light passes a prism or something like that. Let us take a closer look on this band of colors. These are red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. The sequence of color can be remembered by the acronym ROYGIVIV or BIVGYOR. Each color has a different wavelength. Red has the longest wavelength and violet has the shortest wavelength. And these are actually the seven colors that we see in a rainbow. This is also why we are able to see beautiful objects with different colors around us. When light hits an object, some parts of the light are absorbed by the object and some are reflected back. Again, how do we see different colors? When we see a red object, it means that only the color red is being reflected by the object. This red shirt, for example, absorbs all the colors of light except for the red color. When the red light enters our eyes, our brain tells us it looks color red. Same goes with our other object like this blue bag. It absorbs all the colors and only the blue colors is being reflected. So next time you see other objects with different color, remember that all are being absorbed and only the color that you see is being reflected. Black and white colors are different from other colors. White is the sum of all the colors. When we see a white object, it means that the object is reflecting all the colors of the light at the same time. On the other hand, Black is the absence of reflected color. When we see a black object, it means that the object is absorbing almost all the colors of light and none of the visible colors are reflected. Do you know that the amount of heat an object absorbs or reflects depend on its color? The more colors an object absorbs, the more heat is absorbed. The more colors an object reflects, the more heat is reflected. And with this, we can say that black or objects with dark colors are warmer than white or objects with lighter colors. 
So during warm days, it is wise to wear white or light colors because it absorbs less heat and it is more comfortable to wear. While it is best to wear black or dark, co dark clothes when it's cold because it absorbs more heat. Light is very important. It helps us see things around us. Light can transmit in different objects. Transmit from the word transmission, which means the passing of light through some materials. Like when light passes a glass window, the light is transmitted to the other side. We are able to see things behind the glass window. Materials like the clear glass window is called transparent materials. These kind of materials allow all light to pass through them. Other example of transparent materials are clear plastic cup, clear water, air, and car windshield. Materials like translucent materials allow some light to pass through them. When an object is behind translucent materials, you cannot identify exactly the object but you know that something is there. Other example of this kind of materials are thin plastic sheet, sunglasses, frosted window or frosted glass, and wax paper. Opaque materials do not allow any light to pass through them, just like this wooden window. Other example of opaque materials are beach ball, cloth, cabinet, and bag. Now, let's have an activity. Identify the following statements if true or false. The sun is the primary source of light. It's true. The light that is seen by the human eye is called visible light. True. Black is the absence of all the reflected colors. True. Translucent materials allow all light to pass through them. False. Dark color clothes are best to wear during summertime. False. This time, you are going to tell if the material is opaque, translucent, or transparent. Brown envelope. It's an opaque material. Mirror. It's also an opaque material. Pink plastic bag. It's a translucent material. Stained glass. It's also a translucent material. Bulb. It's a transparent material. So there you have it. I'll see you next time. Bye!